Hey booktube! So, if you haven't noticed, I've, I've got a new background. So, given that this is going to be like my new background for filming most of my videos, and just because, like, I've just finished putting this together, so it's probably never going to be like this pretty or neat ever again, I thought that I would treat you guys to a bookshelf tour. I did do one on my channel before, but that was specifically to show you how bad my bookshelves were, and it is, I think, aptly titled The Worst Bookshelf Tour on Booktube. So yes, I now have two shelves instead of just one, and there is a whole video of me like trying to put together this shelf and reorganising my books if you like to watch those sort of time-lapse videos of people building shelves and putting up their like new books then do check out that video. But otherwise this one is just going to be pretty much just me going through my shelves. You know how bookshelf tours work, like I'm doing one of those. I'm doing basically what everyone else does. So I'm going to start with my new shelf and then move on to my old shelf. And just to let you guys know, there isn't really like any rhyme or reason to the way that I organise my books. They're definitely not alphabetical because like, one, who has time for that? And also two, like every time I get more books, I don't want to move everything around. And I know some people do it by like genre, but again, fantasy, fantasy. So yeah, there's no real reason why I've organised them the way that I have, other than I like how they look there and it makes sense to me to put things together in this way. Okay, so without any further ado, uh, let me show you what I've got on my shelves. Oh yeah, and I forgot to add, I put in some fairy lights, but they don't do a whole lot. <laughs> so I'm going to have to freehand this first shot just because of like how high up this is. But yeah, this shelf is basically my like special 10th anniversary or collector's editions. So starting out I have the Mistborn series by Brendan Sanderson, and that includes The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages. Next are the first three books in Scott Lynch's Gentleman Bastard series, which are The Lies of Loch Lamora, Red Seas Under Red Skies, and The Republic of Thieves. Next is this beautiful illustrated edition of A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. And this book is really beautiful inside. After that is Joe Abercrombie's First Law series, consisting of The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged, and Last Argument of Kings. And then the very last book on my top shelf is the leather-bound edition of Anne Rice's The Vampire Chronicles, which is a binder of Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Lestat, and The Queen of the Damned. Yay, I can use my tripod now. So this shelf is actually incomplete, and that is because I have three more books on the way that I want to put here. Hopefully they will all fit. If not, I might have to do some rejigging of this shelf. But this shelf is essentially where I put hardback editions of fantasy series. So starting off this shelf, we have the Six of Crows collector's edition. And like, I need you to appreciate how shiny this book is. Next is the Six of Crows duology, which I got in this like box set. And that consists of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo. Next, also by Lee Bardugo and also set in the same Grishaverse, I have The Language of Thorns and also King of Scars. Next is the Strange the Dreamer duology by Lainey Taylor, which is Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares. Next, I have the illustrated British edition of The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And then we'll just ignore this gap for now. And then this big dark void, which kind of blends in with the rest of my bookshelf, is the anniversary edition of the Night Angel trilogy by Brent Weeks. And last on this shelf are the first two books in the Nevernight series by Jay Kristoff, book one being Nevernight, and book two is God's Grave. Moving down, I have my paperback shelf, which I know it's really frustrating that Kings of the Wild is just like a little bit taller than everything else. So please don't judge me for that because like, how else was I supposed to organise this? So first on my shelf is the Grisha Trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So book one, Shadow and Bone. Book two, Siege and Storm. And book three, Ruin and Rising. Next are the first three books in the Ember in the Ashes series by Saba Tahir. So book one, An Ember in the Ashes. Book two, A Torch Against the Night. And book three, A Reaper at the Gates. Next is this new paperback edition of A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin, which is the first in his A Song of Ice and Fire series. Next, I have two copies of Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames, and then I also have Bloody Rose, also by Nicholas Eames, which is the second book in the series. Following that, I have three books by Patrick Rothfuss, first being the paperback edition of The Name of the Wind, and the sequel, The Wise Man's Fear. I also have the novella The Slow Regard of Silent Things, and I don't know if this is also part of the King Killer Chronicle, but I have it anyway. Next, I have The Gutter Prayer by Gareth Hanrahan, Half a King by Joe Abercrombie, which, seriously, look at the shine on this book. 
And then the paperback editions of Never Nights and God's Grave by J. Christoph. Okay, and then this is the last shelf on my new bookcase because my new bookcase actually has drawers. So this bottom shelf is like for all my other fantasy hardbacks. So first on this shelf I have The Queen of the Tearling, The Invasion of the Tearling, and The Fate of the Tearling, all by Erica Johansson. Next is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, Dracul by Dacre Stoker and J.D. Barker, The Owl Crate Edition and the regular edition of Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, Fury Born by Claire Legrand, The Binding by Bridget Collins, The Queens of Inislea by Tessa Gretton, The Wolf by Leo Carew, The Quit by Lauren Owen, and a paperback, but a very large paperback, of The White Tower by Michael Weishart. I have no idea how I'm going to get up there. So these are all the books that I didn't have room for on my shelves. So I bought these really cute bookends of some knights. So there's like a Norman dude and like a crusader who kind of looks like he's fighting a giant canarchy. So this shelf is going to be real hard to show you. <laughs> like I'm down here and they're all the way up there. So I feel like this is probably going to be the best angle I managed to get of these books, but I'll do my best. So first is The Curse of Chalion by Lois McMaster Bujold, and I'm actually reading this one now. King of Ashes by Raymond E. Feist, a pocket edition of Bram Stoker's Dracula, Duskfall by Christopher Husberg, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, The Stormcaller by Tom Lloyd, a very old copy of Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey, Graceling by Kristen Cashaw, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, The Adamantine Palace by Stephen Dees, The Last Wish by Andre Sapkowski, and then I have the first three Ravenclaw edition hardbacks of the Harry Potter books. So book one, The Philosopher's Stone, book two, The Chamber of Secrets, and book three, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Next we move down to what is primarily my video game shelf, and that is books that are basically spin-offs from various video games that I like, specifically either by Bioware or Bethesda. So that would be The Elder Scrolls, which is games like Oblivion, Skyrim, Morrowind, the Dragon Age series of video games, and I think also some Mass Effect. And there might also be like the odd Dungeons and Dragons book on here as well, but I no longer have friends to play Dungeons and Dragons with, so... Yeah, kind of pointless. So first I have the two Elder Scrolls spin-off books by Greg Keyes, and they are The Infernal City and Lord of Souls. Next I have the five paperback editions of the Dragon Age spin-off novels. They are The Stolen Throne, The Calling, and Asunder by David Gader, The Masked Empire by Patrick Weeks, and Last Flight by Liane Merciel. And then I also have the first two books in the series in the special edition hardback. So again, that's The Stolen Throne and The Calling, both by David Gader. Next is Hard in Hightown by Mary Kirby, the Mage Killer comic by Greg Rooker, Carmen Canero, Terry Pallet, and Michael Atier. Next I have a couple like D&D &D expansion things, and those are Seekers of the Ashen Crown and Halls of Undermountain. Next I have the Dragon Age spin-off comic by Orson Scott Card, Aaron Johnston, Mark Robinson, Anthony J. Tan and Jason P. Martin. Okay, next are a bunch of books which are all like companion guides and stuff to the actual video game series rather than actual spin-off stories. And I'm missing the Prima Guide for Origins which bugs me to no end. So starting off I have the Collector Edition Prima Guide of Dragon Age 2 as well as the Collector's Edition Guide for Dragon Age Inquisition. Then I have the hardback bind-up of the Dragon Age comics The Silent Grove, Those Who Speak and Until We Sleep by David Gader, Alexander Freed and Chad Hardin. And I haven't even opened this yet. That's like some real Jay Gatsby bullshit. Next I have The Art of Dragon Age Inquisition, The World of Thedas Volume 1 and The World of Thedas Volume 2. This one's going to be so hard to get out. And in here I also have the Collector's Edition of the World of Thedas Volume 2. And then finally I have the Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition Guide. Next up I have my manga shelf. And regrettably I do actually have a lot more manga than this. I just have kind of no idea where it's gone. So I know some people aren't really interested in the manga, so I'll try and get through this section quickly. So I have this Psychopath's Mandatory Happiness Heaven's Gate booklet that came with the video game. The Psychopath Official Visual Fan Book. All six volumes of the Kanshikan Akane Tsudemori manga, and these are all in Japanese because for some reason this manga has not been translated into English. Next I have the first four volumes in the Inspector Shinya Kagami prequel spin-off series. 
Next I have all 12 volumes of Death Note plus the additional 13th volume. Next we come to the section of not so safe for work manga that I have collected. So first by Yaneda Ko I have Knights and Twittering Birds Never Fly 1, 2 and 3. Even so I will love you tenderly and the Japanese version Soraremo Yasashi Koi Osuru as well as No Touching At All, and they are all by Yonada Ko. Next, I have Sailor Men and the brilliantly named Don't Rub Yourself Against My Ass, both by Sakura. I can't actually read the kanji in this title, but I think it's Pin Up Boy by Michinoku Atami. Next, I have 10 count volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 by Rihito Takarai. Jackass by Scarlet Beriko. The High School Life of a Fudanshi, also by Michinoku Atami. And then, unrelated, I have One Punch Man Volume 1 and Attack on Titan Volume 1. So next is another fantasy paperback shelf. So first on this shelf I have the Complete Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. Starting with the Assassin's Blade, then Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and finally Kingdom of Ash. Next to that is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, then The Ninth Reign by Jen Williams, Blackwing by Ed MacDonald, The Dragonbone Chair by Tad Williams, then I have Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan, The Traitor God by Cameron Johnston, The Court of Broken Knives by Anna Smith Spark, and then right in the corner I have the whole of John Gwynne's Faithful and the Fallen series, Book 1, Malice, Book 2, Valor, Book 3, Ruin, and Book 4, Wrath. Okay, so down here I have a tiny shelf that I kind of can't move and it's just full of a bunch of junk, but I do have like these really nice beautiful notebooks. Right below that you have another shelf that looks kind of like it's full of junk, but I promise there are books here. So if I move all of my figures and stuff out of the way, I can actually get to the books. So first I have Fire Song by William Nicholson. Next is Inkheart by Cornelia Funk. Eragon by Christopher Paolini. Dragonfire, which is a bind-up of Jet Smoke and Dragonfire, Into the Spiral and The Shining Bridge, all by Charles Ashton. Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice and then the sequel The Vampire Lestat, as well as The Wolf Gift, also by Anne Rice. Next I have the first two books in the Outsider series by Claire Dilley, and those are Outsider and Defiance. Next I have some of the books I own in Terry Pratchett's Discworld series, so I don't really want to get all these out because there's just a lot of them and it's kind of hard to reach into this corner, but in the series that I have here, I have The Colour of Magic, The Light Fantastic, Guards Guards, Moving Pictures, Pyramids, Mort, Reaper Man and Sorcery. And I, I'm, I'm definitely missing at least three or four books. After that I have Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Shadow Prowler by Alexei Pehov, and Captive Prince by C.S. Pakat. Next to that I have like a whole bunch of manga and other random books, but again, this is too deep and it's really hard for me to get into this corner because there's a desk in the way, like this is the desk. So I'm not going to try and get in there because I, I don't hate myself that much. Then on the very bottom shelf you come to my absolutely what the hell I don't give a crap kind of bottom shelf because honestly what is any of this? Start in this bottom corner this is all Dojinshi which is like fan made manga and it's like 99.9% .9 of it is in Japanese and I, I have like I think over a hundred there and I'm not going to get them out because that would be a nightmare and then I have some more Dajinshi here but these tend to be either fan books, zines or like little novellas and then I have a bunch more books here I'm not going to go through these um, but you can pause if you really want to like take a look at any of them so yeah those were my shelves and hopefully you enjoyed this little but also kinda hectic tour of my shelves I feel like this took such a long time to film so yeah, hopefully you guys liked watching this and hopefully my method of book organisation doesn't bother anyone. So yeah, um, th I feel like this video is long enough, so that is it from me. Peace out, booktube!